Sound design. All right, so the next step on my audio analyzer verification checklist is setting my audio interface microphone preamps. And I basically just have two things that I'm concerned about. Number one, making sure that the signal level is um, healthy but safe, and also matching inputs. So let's go through that quickly. So um, when we're looking at smart here, and we can do this in any audio analyzer, when we're looking at smart though, we've got these measurements over here on the right. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna start the signal generator and I'm gonna bring up my preamps until I'm just about to turn into the yellow color here, which is where my mouse is right now. I don't have my speaker on yet, but I can go ahead and turn on the signal generator. So we can just start here without any noise. And let me turn over here so you can see these preamp settings. All right, so here's my measurement microphone input. And here's my reference input. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start turning up my reference input until I see that uh, input going up over there. Okay, great, that's working. So I'm gonna adjust it until it's just about to turn into the yellow. Okay, so there, see how it's hitting yellow? So why do I care about it hitting yellow? I want it to hit yellow when it's at minus 12 on the signal generator, because then I know that if I turn this up to zero, it should be either right at clipping or just under clipping. And so you can see it's red on the signal here, but if you look on my audio interface here, I am not hitting the clipping LED. Oh, just a tiny bit there. So I might wanna back it down just a tiny bit. But anyway, this is the best way to get a really healthy signal, but it's still safe, okay? So then I can back this back down to 12. Okay, so I've set the reference input. Now let's turn on the speaker and I'll set the microphone input. All right, so same thing here, right? Um, I wanna bring up my microphone preamp until it's hitting the same level there, minus 12. So here's my microphone preamp. I'm gonna start turning it up and I'm gonna be watching those meters. There, it just turns to yellow. And I can also see that they're matching here, so I can turn it down a little bit. Okay, um, why do I care about them matching and being at the same level? Well, when I switch back to my transfer function, um, the important thing for me is just that I get a measurement kind of centered around the zero dB line here. I don't want it to be way too high or way too low. So let me give you an example. I'll turn back on the signal generator and then I'll show you what it looks like if it's too far off. So turn on the signal generator. We're looking at a measurement here. Now, if our reference signal is too low, then the measurement's gonna go higher. Now, if our reference signal is too high, the measurement signal is going to go too low. Okay, so I'll turn the measurement, the reference signal back about to where it was. And the same thing with the measurement microphone. If I turn the preamp down, it's way too low, I can't see it. And if I turn it way too high, then we're not centered around the zero line anymore. So this can be just another way to fine tune it. So I might go here in spectrum view and I can see, okay, they match, or you know, maybe if that's too hard to see, I'll look at it with the banding on. Okay, look, this, they match, they're hitting about where I want them to. Switch over to the transfer function, take a look at the amplitude trace here, and then I might fine tune these a little bit so I can get a trace centered around zero dB. All right, and that is how you set the microphone preamps on your audio interface as you're going through your verification checklist. 
Again, if you want to get this checklist that I'm using, there is a link below this video and you can download your own and use it in the field or to practice at home. Sound design. Live.